Didn't say it was easy though. And uh, uh, in flames, throwing the his castle's up there, gonna protect his economy from any raids, it's really good. And uh, obviously you can start going for some of those Shotel Warriors if he wants as well. I mean, it's up to him, but obviously, you know, he's gotta... He's gotta... Decide what he wants to do, and I think the Ethiopian's pretty versatile. Personally, I'd go for the Shotels, just because of how open and raidable this map is. Um, but that's just me, man, that's just me. Risk Septum, Imperial. Age. Look at that castle again. Is it a castle? Is it the cathedral? Is it a wonder of the world? I don't know, but Rus accepts him's banging him out and uh, his buildings just keep getting taller. With every age comes another floor. I think that's the idea. But I like it. I really like the, the kind yes. of the way it builds and everything gets more towers and talls tallness. But yeah. Um Shotel's like I say, it's a very open map and uh, I don't know if I've said this, guys, but it's quite an open map. And Shotels are very good at king sniping because they run in, they kill the TC, they kill the king. It's easy. Easy. That's why uh, Rush accepts him here doing hoardings to buff up his castle. But uh, he should probably do masonry and architecture if he's got it available. He's just shooting, so yeah. Get that mason, uh, masonry yeah, tech so. done and get some extra HP on that TC for the love of God. But uh, yeah, the team on the left side doing really nice. We've got Sheep Slaughter in the Imperial Age right now as well. With these Paladins now at the back of In Flames' base. 40 minute Paladins for Sheep Slaughter. That's pretty good. Let's be honest here. He's improved somewhat. That's the king! In Flames' is king! Making a run for it. I'm sure he runs slower than the other ones. Why is it that he runs slower? I don't understand that. If anything, he should run faster since he's from Ethiopia and Ethiopia has some of the best runners in the world. And yet their king seems to be slower than the others. Why is it that he runs slower? I don't understand that. If anything, he should run faster since he's from Ethiopia and Ethiopia has some of the best runners in the world. And yet their king seems to be slower than the other runners. I don't understand that. Makes no sense. Guys... We need to petition the Age of Empires HD team to get that fixed, because that's a glaring, glaring problem, and it's clearly not true to life, and, you know, that's why I play Age of Empires, for absolute historical realism. But anyway, uh, these castles clearly doing their work right now, and this is very good. The, the knights, uh, sorry, the paladins, uh, dropping a little bit there, and now they're going to go into Gamisha's base, and I don't think Gamisha's ready for this. He's throwing up a castle right now, but, um... Yeah, he's got a lot of camels, actually. He just needs to notice this army and actually go and uh, and take them out. I mean, look, there's like five paladins right there. And uh, and these camels are just kind of, yeah, okay. We're going to get there eventually, yes. guys. Yap, though. Oh, my God. Look at Yap. What a play. Bringing a villager down here. If he gets killed by a, a paladin now, I would laugh so hard. Sheep Slaughter has to focus that villager. Oh, wait, no, he's got more than one. Oh. That's sad. I thought Yap had sent a single villager down. Like, oh, Gamisha, I heard you were in trouble. Let me send you this single villager as a token, and I will, I will build an empire around your empire, and uh, we will, we will save the day with my lonesome villager. No, he's got five down here. I'm a little disappointed in that because I wanted to see, see sheep slaughter to take them out. Oh, that would have made my day. But anyway, yep, still castle, going up to Imp, I imagine, fairly soon. But one thing we've got to remember is that this is still last man standing. So even if the team on the left left get a very decisive, very quick victory, that is not going to be the end of the game. Oh no, because then they have to turn against one another and fight until the bloody end. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. And I think Rust now looking very strong, but uh, when his team turns against him, how strong will he be then? Mm, it's a question that we will find out in good time, but oh my goodness me, these Franks, man, this Imperial Age Frank architecture set, it's just so vertical, it, they are, oh, I don't know, just look at this, what are they doing with all this space above their stables, their horses can't go up there, all this extra room, but no more extra population cap limit, I, it doesn't make sense to me. But it, it looks cool, I like it. It just makes everything a lot harder to see. So it's, it's an extra challenge, an extra layer of, uh, <laughs> of deciphering that we need to go through. Another processing layer that we have to figure out. Look at this, Yap, spreading to the far corners of the world, building a town centre to chop some wood. Because he's clearly not uh, got enough wood inside of his walls already. Here we go though, he's up to yes. the Imperial Age now. And of course, the first thing he's going to do is throw up 
a good old, when I can find him, I'm already on him, what am I doing? I must be high or something, uh, but he's throwing up a Fatoria, which is the fantastic Portuguese unique building. The yeah. only unique building in the game, not counting Wonders, you can actually build that does something uh, unlike Wonders. And uh, yeah, double Fatoria strat, obviously, um, it's the, the only, the only strat is the double Fatoria strat. I mean, at this point, he may as well delete all of his villagers and just build Fatorias because they're not underpowered at all. Uh, they're, in they're so stupid. Fatorias are crap. Like, you should only really build them when there's no gold or, or stone left on the map. Uh, that's literally the only time I think you should build them. Like, right now, there's no need. There's no need. These guys, they're starting to set up trade, but I don't think that's going to work out too well for them because look at this on the left side. Rustic Septum. Onus. And uh, maybe even Sheep Slaughter, getting ready to Sheep Slaughter, getting ready to attack. Sheep Slaughter now moving out across the center of the map. But look at this, in flames, Shotel Warriors and Arbalest moving out with his king. Is this guy, is this guy for real? Is he for real? <laughs> Does he not realize? Does he not realize that his king is with that army? What is going on? Holy shit, he's gonna go out of the game right now. This is regicide. His army's not patrolling. And this king is just like, yo, I'm here with my homies just pushing out across the map. What is he doing? And Sheep Slaughter hasn't even freaking noticed. This king is just standing between five paladins. Just like, yo, what's good, man? No, seriously. 39 HP, and he's gonna get away. It's like in flames doesn't even care. He doesn't even give a buff to the units. He's literally getting yes. away with that shit. <laughs> and now he's just gonna waddle back home. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody is asleep. Nobody. Nobody is awake right now, and that is exactly why you don't garrison your king in a castle, by the way. The reason that king was with the army is because it was with the ca in the castle. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, at least, at least his king is, you know, being a real man here, Royal Viper. You're right, it, you know, the king should lead his men to battle, and I think Regicide would be more entertaining if everybody did use their king to lead their men to battle, at least... You know, the, the games would never be more than 15 minutes long, but still. Uh, Gick, Gamisha, on this left side. I know, I know. 42, uh, wor wor Worticon, it, it's just too real, man. It's just too real. It really is. But yeah, um, on the left side, Gamisha holding out. And I, you know, that Gamisha to be building bombard cannons, uh, bombard towers, sorry, all over the map by at least 50 minutes of game time. But you can see how his growth is really stinted at the moment, you know. He's struggling at this point in time. He's got the protection of Yaps, bombard towers. He's got a few camels, but the, the odds are against him at the moment with a lot of paladins and camels from Owenus out here as well. So Gamish is just hanging in there, doing his best to defend. But normally, you know, the, the difference would be... In a standard game, no. He's defeated! <laughs> Yellow just got defeated! He didn't put his king in his castle still! Where did his king go? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yellow played so well. I mean, look at this. He's got such a big economy. He's got so many farms. He built castles in his economy to keep it safe. And then he fucks around with his king and he just gets defeated. He's out of the game! It, what is he doing, man? This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. He looked like a good player, and now he's just, yeah, defeated. I was like, yeah, just focusing on Gamisha, because this is where the action's going to be on the left side, and, and in flames is just... He, he really went up in flames there, didn't he? It built up, it built up, it built up. He was doing so well, and then just, no. No more. Denied. Sheep Slaughter, you are the best. All bow down to Sheep Slaughter. Man, I don't know if that was Sheep Slaughter being good or his flames being bad. I really just don't know. But okay. Yap now defending with Bombard Towers. He's the Portuguese. He gets the Ballistics upgrade applied to his gunpowder. It's pretty damn strong. But, um, you know, for... What? Again, yet more confusion. This is the base of a Bombard Tower. You what, mate? <laughs> you what? 
<laughs> Look at that! That's not the base of a bombard on some sticks! Oh my goodness me. I don't know what mod is changing the uh, the foundations of the buildings, but it needs to go. It's 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 very broken. Anyway, the left side of the map, elite camel archers, heavy camels, paladins, oh Gamisha, you are on the way down, but we see the first bombard tower from Gamisha in his quest to cover the map. This time around though, I kind of feel like he's not gonna get away with it. Because this army from Ogres and this army from Rustic Septum is a huge. There's a huge mix of units in here. Pikemen, Halberdier, Paladins, Camel Archers, Heavy Camels. I'm just naming things right now. Anyone can do what I do. You just say what you can see. It's simple. You know, Cat Rams, Bombard Towers, Heavy Camels. They're grey. Let's put team colours on so we can see this fight a little better. Uh, Gamisha in yellow, red for Onus here. Maybe actually I'll put Gamisha in the, there. There we go. Gamisha in the blue. Onus in the red and uh, Wish to accept him in the red. You just see how outnumbered Gamisha is in this fight, but alas, he will not stop building the Lombard Towers. He will slow these towers best as he can. And uh, yeah, Gamisha right now, where's his king at? We gotta find that out. Um, you know, is he is he hiding that king somewhere in a bombard tower? Is he in the castle? Yes, he is. He's up in the castle on the right hand side. Uh, so he's safe for now, but he has no army left. Gamisha down to 112 population. And his bombard towers are quickly becoming rubble as these uh, cap rams take them down. Elite Camel Archers from Onus coming into the back to raid, and this is going to be pretty nasty. Gamisha here, nowhere to run these villages. They're in the corner of the map. They literally have nowhere to run to. They can't run into the blackness beyond as much as they wish they could. Sadly, they can, uh, this is going to be slaughter back here. This is so, so rolly right now. I've never seen such a huge roll before. And what are these castles from Sheep's Lord? Look at this. How many keeps can you spot? One, two, three, four keeps. One, two, three, four towers. A castle with a castle on top. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, over on this right side, I'll take team colors off so we can see what's going on here. Sheep Slaughter breaching those walls. And yep, that walling suddenly seems to be all for nothing. Because all these walls all around his base serve no purpose anymore. There is a single hole and the wall is lost. Can't believe it. <laughs> in flames you actually played really well i mean you played well it, your your boom was great you had it down it's just the king man it's so easy to forget and i don't blame you but anyway sheep slaughter paladins coming in and taking down yaps economy so so quickly where's that king though that's the question we're all asking right now and it's right in this castle here so Get those uh, trebs forward and, and he's good. He's good to go. Meanwhile, Gamisha is holding on. I think he's still got that king in the castle on the hill. I'm wrong. He's ran it away to... To no... Oh, no. Is it there? Where's his king gone? It, it's disappeared. Oh, there it is. It's in the corner of the map. But Gamisha's calling GG anyway. He's actually resigned right now. Uh, good job AOEHD with the uh, resignation notification. Just didn't tell me that he resigned. The only way I knew was by him saying GG in the chat. He didn't actually make the resign sound. That's fine. Rich is gone. And now it's Yap. All alone. There's no one here beside him. There's only Sheep Slaughter pushing through this hole in the wall. And oh damn. The hole has been patched up, but I don't think it will be. But I don't think it will be patched for long because, believe it or not, there's a hole in the corner here as well. Who would have thought it? I definitely did not see that. <laughs> I mean, come on, ridiculous. Elite throwing axemen thrown in there for sheep slaughter for good measure because elite throwing axemen absolutely tear through pikemen. It's not even funny. And that castle right there, I think he's also forgotten what it is like to play regicide. The king. He's about to come out. I think there's four Fatorias. Yeah, four Fatorias at the back. Um, but the king... The king is dead. Long live the king. No, where is the king? He just disappeared. Um, I took my eye off the ball for one minute. I think he's in the... Yeah, in the TC, obviously. But there's really nowhere for him to run to. He's trying to make another TC. But TCs don't offer the best protection versus trebuchets and paladins and marauding... 
throwing axemen, but I'm waiting right now for the infighting to begin. Now this is where the last man standing part comes into play. If Yap loses his king right now, then it's GG for the team on the right. The team on the right are completely defeated. So what happens next? Well, the team on the left have to kill each other. Yap says, I'm dead already, go for someone else. But I'm, I'm sorry, that's just not how international diplomacy works, is it? It's like, oh, damn, Hitler, you, you've killed us all. Please, you know, don't take over my country. I, I know that, you know, you really want to kill everyone in my country and, and have this, this country for yourself. Please don't do that. Look at, look at Poland. They look nice and weak. Take them out instead. That's not how it works, Yap. <laughs> They're killing you for a reason. Asking them to go for someone else is not going to help. And so anyway, um, obviously, I don't really know much about history. Poland, I'm not saying you're weak. Just making an analogy. And uh, she's a here. <clears throat> really, really, I mean, could just get that king in an instant. But he's just instead, he's just going to fight the pikemen with his paladins for whatever reason. I really have no idea. Uh, this is such a pain in the butt. <laughs> I, I was, I'm testing to see if Clayman, like, Clayman's still in the chat. He is, it turns out. Okay, so anyway, um, I, I, you know, I want to see what's going to happen next. I want to see how this fight goes, because you can see here, green player clearly starting to fortify this left-hand side. Obviously, orange is uh, also fortifying up as best he can as well, because these guys are fighting already. Oh my goodness, Onis throwing his uh, camel archers in there, into the fray, because, you know, camels are totally, totally resistant to arrow fire and uh, camel archers as well i mean they're totally not gonna get chopped down like flies in there uh, by those arrows but uh, onus clearly launching this attack onto orange but where is orange at? i mean this is messy right now his paladins are out on this far right side it looked like he was gonna go for yap but he's gonna have to bring them home recall them recall the troops get the halbs back in as well because um, obviously Owen is here, gonna be going for that King Snipe. Where's the King of Rustic Septum? That's what we need to find out now. Is he in a castle? Yes he is. He's right in the center of this base. And uh, obviously now, Green just needs a little bit of Siege. And this is something I see a lot of lower rated players neglecting. Siege is so important in this game. And um, if he'd have had Siege, he would already be 